Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How many formulas are required to prove trigonometrical identities in exercise 11.1? Let's start. This one actually is given always in the admins paper when the starting like beginning of the paper. We have three identities which are already given. First of all, you have to do one thing. From the first identity, sine square cos square one, you have to do one thing. You have to make sine square a as a subject. So it will become one minus cos square a. This is like expanded form. You can make the factors like one time plus cos a and one time minus cos a. This is called the factor form. So now we have two more identities from the first. Second example, when we have sec square a, you can write one thing, you can write one here as minus one is equals to 10 square. Now this sec square you can write this 10 square a is equals to one time sec like plus one and one time sec a with minus one this is factor form so now we have two more identities like sec square a minus one is also equal to 10 square a third one is cosec so we do the same thing like cosec square a and this one we shift from left hand side minus one is equals to cot square a now the cot square a is equals to this one one time plus cosec a with one and one time cosec a minus one this is called the factor form and this is expanded form so now one two three three formulas from here and two two like we have about three and six nine new formulas now the fourth one the fourth one we should know the inverse of sine a is one upon cosec this is most important part so, or we can write the cosec a is also equals to one upon sine a fifth one we have like uh, cos a is equals to one upon sec a or you can write the sec a is equals to 1 upon cos a. Sixth one, you can write the 10 a is equals to 1 upon cot a, or you can write the cot a is equals to 1 upon 10 a. The most important formula which we now I'm using here is. 10a is also equal to sine upon cos. So when 10 is equal to sine upon cos, then cot will be equal to cos upon sine. And most important, we use actually in the exam this formula and this formula, like we use frequently in the exam, and this is the like we should know. So the most important thing is uh, when you want to start like uh, trigonometrical identities from chapter 11.1 or even from the past papers, you just need these formulas. These formulas are enough to prove the trigonometrical identities. So I think so. This is very important like formulas to remember, practice it. So if you think this video is useful, please like my video, subscribe my channel, forward your friends and have a nice day.